We are getting a first look at the compound of the late singer Prince. Prince famously lived and recorded many of his songs at Paisley Park. Kate Raditz is live in Chanhassen. And Kate, you got a chance to tour the complex. I did, Kim. It was pretty incredible. As you know, there was a little bit of a delay in opening up Paisley Park to the public just simply due to some zoning concerns. But it has the tours have officially started as of Friday. On the tour, fans will get to see everything from handwritten lyrics from Prince, as well as there are actually two white doves that you see above you in the atrium as you first start the tour to really famous exhibits from throughout his career and life. So during the tour, guests take a tour of the 65,000 square foot complex where Prince famously held many of his exclusive concerts and parties. Guests get to see everything from memorabilia from the movie Under the Cherry Moon, Prince's Super Bowl performance, the MPG Music Club, that's where he hosted parties for guests. Prince has 121 guitars and 6,000 clothing items here at Paisley Park alone. Some of the exhibits on the tour are more recent, including some of the signs and memorabilia left by fans on the the Paisley Park fence after his death. People from all over the world are expected to come here to tour Paisley Park. As a museum, he wanted to welcome his fans here, and we're simply just kind of making his wishes come true. And for the fans, it's a very emotional journey because when you walk into Paisley, not only can you feel his presence, but you can see what he did, what he created here, and why Paisley was so important to him. It's already been more than six months since Prince died in April of an accidental opioid overdose. Uh, on Friday, Governor Mark Dayton officially declared it Paisley Park Day in honor of the museum opening to the public. Kate, can you tell us how much it costs for people to go on the tour? Well, there are two types of tickets. General admission is around $40. Otherwise, there are VIP tickets. Those are about $100. And we actually got to see uh, you go in a private edit bay that Prince used as part of that VIP tour, as well as uh, the Studio B. That was another one of his recording studios. There's some extra things on the VIP tour as well. All right. Kate Raditz reporting for us in Chanhassen. Thank you.